Semi-direct fermions are breaking the rules. These are quasi-particles that act like they have mass when they're moving in one direction and like they don't when they're moving in another. We are breaking down some common questions about them. Quasi-particles aren't a new type of particle, but they kind of behave like it. Scientists use the term to describe how a group of particles is behaving within a material. Kind of how a wave isn't a real physical thing, but it's a real effect that it's having on water. The most popular question was what exactly does direction mean in this context? In most materials, electrons behave the same way in all directions. They have a fixed mass and they follow the same predictable rules. But in some materials like zirconium silicon sulfide, they have a different mass, depending on the direction that they go. Specifically, in zirconium silicon sulfide, when it's going left and right, it acts like it's massless. When it's going up and down, it slows down significantly and acts like it has mass. This happens because of the way the atomic layers are structured, which forces the electrons to act differently. Some people said there's no up or down in space, which is technically right, but here we're talking about a structured material. Think about it this way. My left is always my left. It doesn't matter if your left is different from my left. Here we're talking about a crystal lattice, which is the structured material, and there the left, up, down, all the directions are physically distinct. Some people asked if this could be used for massless travel. Here's the thing, if we did find a way to harness this energy, it is in a very specific direction. So for example, if I'm going this way and I am massless this way, I would have to go along this axis the entire time. If I veer off a little, suddenly I have mass and then the whole mission, hypothetical mission falls apart. The speed of light was also mentioned so many times. Even if something is massless in one direction, it's still bound by the speed of light. Light itself doesn't have mass and it has that limit. However, if we were able to somehow manipulate this and harness it while we were bending space-time, that would be a different story, but we're not quite there. Maybe, maybe the next video. But yeah, those were all the common questions. I do love all the deeper discussions going on in the comments and all the questions. It's why I started the channel, but um, yeah, keep doing that. And if you're new here, come join the party and follow for more science.